Welcome to New York City, the starting point of our great astronomy adventure that will take us across nine countries of Northern Europe. We'll visit five famous observatories, ancient and modern, meet and interview professional astronomers, and generally learn about and experience European astronomy. More about this great trip right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome to episode one of KPO's European Astronomy Tour. I'm Dave Hearn, and I'm the director of Kissimmee Park Observatory, a small astronomical facility in Central Florida in the United States. My family and I are on location here in New York City, as you can hear, as we prepare to kick off a 10-week tour of Northern Europe and the United Kingdom. This afternoon, we're in Central Park in New York City, in front of the entrance to the Hayden Planetarium, an amazing facility that we'll check out in more detail later in this episode. On our astronomy tour, we'll cross the Atlantic and travel through Scandinavia and the British Isles in search of famous modern and historical observatories. We'll visit eight countries in total in our astronomical journey, and on the way we'll interview several professional astronomers and astronomy outreach leaders. Over the next nine weeks, we'll be publishing a new show every week to document our astronomical exploits. In this, our first episode, I'll give you an overview of the installments to come in this exciting series. So here we go. Make sure to click on that subscribe button on the channel here because every episode is gonna be pretty much over the top. So to start off this exciting adventure with a bang, tomorrow, shortly after this episode goes live, we'll be boarding Canard's historic flagship, the Queen Mary II, for the Atlantic crossing. That's right, we're gonna spend nine days on the world's largest and most famous ocean liner. So what does that have to do with astronomy, you ask? Well, one of the most popular programs on the QM2 is the Astronomy Enrichment Series aboard ship, presented by members of the Royal Astronomical Society. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to interview Dr. David Mannion, a fellow of the Royal Astronomical Society and the astronomy speaker aboard ship during our crossing. We'll also attend top deck observing sessions with Dr. Mannion, which should offer some incredibly dark skies, weather permitting. And lastly, the Queen Mary 2 has the world's only floating planetarium, where we'll view virtual stars as we cruise eastward to make a stop in England and then ultimately Hamburg, Germany, where we'll disembark and get our land legs again. From Hamburg, we'll enter Northern Europe and Scandinavia by driving into Denmark and Sweden, where we'll check out the Aurora Borealis. We'll delve into and learn about the natural forces that cause this strange but beautiful phenomenon. We'll push on further north into Norway, where we'll experience for ourselves the land of the midnight sun. In the summer months, the sun barely dips below the northeast horizon, and I'll set up the cameras around midnight so we can experience this interesting phenomenon together. On the next segment of our trip, we'll head back down into Holland and then cross the English Channel to enter jolly old England and visit the Royal Greenwich Observatory in London. This is going to be an amazing episode where I'll interview Dr. Louise DeVoy, curator of the Royal Observatory Greenwich. In our interview, we'll discuss the tumultuous history of the observatory and then get a personal tour of the 28-inch Grubb refractor in the Great Equatorial Telescope Dome. We'll also see the historic observatory in Flamsteed House and the basis of all world time tracking and longitude, the prime meridian line at zero degrees, zero minutes, zero seconds longitude. In the same episode, we'll also visit Hurstmonsu Castle in Sussex, the second home for the ROG, and see the 26-inch Thompson refractor, the 36-inch Yap reflector, and the 38-inch Congo Schmidt reflector. So right after this break, I'll tell you about the second half of the tour. Stay tuned. So the next episode of KPO's European Astronomy Tour will document the visit to one of my lifelong bucket list locations, the famous Stonehenge in England. We'll discuss the strange history of this prehistoric observatory and rock formation. So that night, Friday, August 5th, we'll be in attendance for the sunset, which serendipitously is followed by an amazing conjunction of Venus, Aldebaran, Mercury, the crescent moon, and Jupiter behind Stonehenge. I hope we can get it. We'll also try to do a time lapse of the sunset behind this famous rock formation. 
Next, we'll land in Edinburgh, Scotland, and visit the Royal Observatory Edinburgh. This will be another incredible episode where we'll interview two astronomers, one being Dr. Andy Lawrence, Regis Professor of Astronomy at the Institute for Astronomy. We'll also tour the observatory with a staff member, get a tour of the 35-inch Cassegrain Telescope, and learn about the astronomy outreach programs held at the Visitor Center. Moving forward in our astronomical trek, we'll head down to Ireland and visit Burr Castle, which houses the 72-inch Leviathan Telescope built and used by William Parsons, the third Earl of Ross. There's a tremendous amount of history here at the castle, with the Leviathan reigning as the largest telescope in the world until the year 1917. It's been credited with the discovery of many famous deep sky objects, among them being the true nature of the Whirlpool Galaxy, eventually cataloged by Charles Messier as number 51 on his famous list. Our last main stop on our astronomy tour will take us back into England again to visit the famous Jodrell Bank Radio Observatory. There we'll take a tour of the famous Lovell Radio Telescope and check out this amazing dish from the air. The Lovell Dish is the third largest movable radio telescope in the entire world, spanning a massive 250 feet in diameter, and we'll see it up close. Then as they say, all good things must come to an end, and it'll be time to embark on the return Atlantic crossing on the Queen Mary II, where we'll investigate maritime astronomy and how mariners across the ages have used the stars to navigate around the globe. We may do some more top deck observing to take advantage of the dark skies of the North Atlantic. On that crossing, we'll also be interviewing Dr. Dan Wilkins, who'll be our RISC member on board the Queen Mary II. So as I mentioned, our journey starts here in New York City. I'll be publishing the new episodes each week. I'm gonna target publishing the new installments on Thursdays as I've been doing for the Star Hopping series. There's a chance that the publish schedule will be a little erratic though to allow time to shoot and edit the videos, but it'll definitely be worth it. Additionally, I don't know if I'll always have reliable internet along the journey. We'll see. I'll let you know the published dates for the next episodes each week and make any necessary adjustments of the series webpage, which is kpobservatory.org forward slash euro dash astro dash tour. In any case, subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned so you don't miss a beat. So let's check out the Hayden Planetarium while we're here in New York. As you may know, the director of the Hayden Planetarium is none other than our favorite public astronomer, Neil deGrasse Tyson. As one would expect, the Hayden is very active in astronomy public outreach and is central in discussion of important issues regarding modern astrophysics. The annual Isaac Asimov Memorial Panel Debate is held here, bringing the finest scientific minds in the world here to the museum. So check out some of the great exhibits and shows we saw during our visit to this famous planetarium. It's also tied to the Museum of Natural History, so there's a bunch of other stuff that I'll be showing you from that part of it as well.
So wasn't that a great planetarium facility? It's definitely the most impressive planetarium and the largest that I've ever experienced. So that's a wrap on this first episode of KPO's European Astronomy Tour. You can see the episode notes at kpobservatory.org forward slash EAT1, where you can find our itinerary and publication schedule for the rest of the trip. Throughout this tour, I'll be checking the site and the YouTube for any comments or questions that you may have, so feel free to ask away. So we'll embark on the Queen Mary 2 tomorrow, Wednesday the 6th of July, and for the next nine weeks, I'll share our astronomical adventures as we travel through Northern Europe on KPO's European Astronomy Tour.